Welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla video tutorial alert. Burr, 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 burr. Today we're going to be doing the airdrop tutorial for Venom. It's still on the test net, so everything in this video is free or 99% since at one point you are going to need some BNB. So there are a little bit of fees there, especially if you need to bridge, then it might cost you like $10 to bridge. As usual, nothing in this video is financial advice. I cannot guarantee returns from this airdrop. So understand that you are investing time because most of the things in this video are free. So you're giving up your free time in order to do this. And if you haven't already done so, and you appreciate these videos, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? If you think Min's cute, look how cute she is. She's doing a little stretch. If you think she's cute, hit that subscribe button. Now I've been going ham on these airdrops, especially on Twitter. I post a lot of tutorials, step by step so if you want more airdrop content definitely give me a follow on twitter as well so unlike a lot of the other airdrops this one requires its own wallet so you're gonna have to all the links are gonna be in the description down below for this video you're gonna have to go on the venom website and install a wallet you have three options ios google play store and then what i'm using is the chrome browser extension for security reasons i've already installed it off camera it works just like a metamask right it's a plugin it pops down you just have to write down your seed phrase not on your computer not taking a picture of of it and saving it in your photo albums on a piece of paper you stow away somewhere safely and then you have a wallet just like on metamask and even though it says mainnet only testnet is available so like i said everything in this video today or 99 percent is going to be free so let's just assume you've already made a wallet the next step is going to do start testnet so first when you're going to need to connect our wallet and then we need some venom tokens and to do so you can complete the first quest on the Venom website, which is going to earn us 50 Venom. So you're gonna need a Twitter account. If you're farming this on multiple wallets, you will need multiple Twitter accounts. And I will have a tutorial in the near future on how to mass farm airdrops. But for the time being, I assume you have at least one Twitter account. We're going to connect it to Twitter. We have to solve this CAPTCHA here and tag the alpacas, even though some of these look like llamas. We authorize, whenever you're connecting your Twitter, always read what they're trying to get from you, right? If it ever says they could post on your behalf, they could do things on your behalf, do not give them access. That's a scam and they're trying to hack your Twitter. So for now, all we see is, hey, they wanna look at what tweets are on my timeline, what's my profile information see what accounts i follow fine that's safe anybody can do that so i don't have a problem with this tool doing that and step three we're gonna have to follow venom foundation on twitter i already do so now we could claim and the really annoying thing about venom is every single time you do a transaction with your wallet you're gonna have to put in your password i have a very long password and unfortunately i have no idea how to change it in the wallet so once that is complete you should see 50 venom testnet tokens in your wallet if you ever need more you can go up here to get testnet venom and you're gonna see there's a bunch of things you can do and it's gonna pay you 15 venom at a time. These are really easy, like follow them on Twitter and join a Discord. Most of them are join Discords. And then to go back to these steps, you just go to earn NFTs achievements. So we're literally just going to do one by one. It's very simple. Like you could do this on your own, just going through each individual task and completing the tasks. A lot of them are simple and some of them are going to require you to visit different websites for which you could find on the homepage of this website, every single product we're going to use. We're pretty much going to use all of these. Some of these we are going to use more than once like web three world, because we're going to need to swap to, I believe four different tokens for this tutorial. Again, all free. The only one that is gonna cost us a little bit of money is gonna be the Venom Bridge, where you need to bridge tokens to the Binance Smart Chain and then bridge back. So the way back is what's gonna cost us money. And if you don't already have BNB, I'm gonna show you how to get that without using a centralized exchange like Binance. So let's begin. Task one is very easy. We're literally just gonna follow them on Twitter. We're going to say we follow their YouTube channel and then we are going to mint. Again, every single time you're gonna to have to put in a password, very annoying, but it is what it is. And if it goes through, you're gonna get this message where you see the NFT. And when we return to this page, that task is gonna disappear and you will now see the NFT is no longer blurry before they were all blurry. Now this one is a lot more clear, right? We could see it right here. So task number two, we're gonna just have to send some of the tokens to this wallet address. So I'm gonna open my wallet. I'm going to do send, paste the address, paste the amount. I'm gonna put a very small amount and we need to put in our password. And then we're just going to confirm the transaction. So once that's sent, we can check if it's done. It is indeed. And we just do mint, confirm transaction and voila, it is minted. Next up, we have to do a swap. So first you have to follow them. Then we have to go to the testnet site where we are going to perform a swap. So like I said, we're gonna need, I believe four different tokens, USDT. I think at one point we need W Venom. We're gonna need W3W and we're also gonna need some 
some new me. But to start off, we'll just do one swap and we're gonna come back. So first we have to connect our wallet and then you're gonna need at least $1 in USDT. So five Venom should do the trick. It says pending up here. So we're just gonna wait for this transaction to go through. And there you go, the transaction was approved. So we head back over to the other website. We have them verify that we have indeed done the swap. It went through and then we mint the NFT. We could move on to bridging. So first we follow, then they want to check that we either transferred from the testnet to Ethereum, BSC, or Phantom. I'm gonna go with BSC just because it's much cheaper. If you wanna do Ethereum and then bridge back from Ethereum, that's totally up to you. But I'm going to go to back to the homepage and I'm going to find the bridge. From here, I'm going to connect a wallet. So I'm gonna pick MetaMask. And then we're also gonna to need to connect a Venom wallet. So I'm just gonna connect. So like I said, they mentioned that you can use Ethereum. Here, there's no Ethereum option. So I'm just gonna be doing Binance Smart Chain. And for the transfer amount, I'm just gonna put one, click continue, approve transaction. We're just going to wait for that to go through. And the first two have gone through. So I'm just gonna click release. But as you're gonna notice, because I don't have any BNB, I cannot perform this transaction. So there's a ton of bridges that let you bridge into Binance. The problem is you're not getting BNB. However, I did find this one bridge, xy.finance, that allows you to bridge your ETH on ETH mainnet into BNB, but it is a tad more expensive. So if you have Binance and you can just get BNB through their exchange, by all means do that. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll show you, I'll put the link for this website in the description down below. It's not a referral link or anything, so I'm not making money by you using my link. I'm just providing that resource for you. So I'm gonna click swap and bridge. And like I mentioned, it is expensive to do. You can see here, gas is $11 if we wanna convert it this way. So if you have another method of doing it, by all means, use that method. So that took roughly 10 minutes to go through. So once we have our BNB, we can release our Venom into Binance Smart Chain. So we're just gonna click that. We are going to do confirm. And you can see the fee on for BNB is just 20 cents. It's really the bridge that is expensive. So if you have an alternative method, use it. So once that's done, you can see they also want us to go from Binance back into Venom. So we're gonna go back to the bridge website. And now we wanna go from Binance into Venom. So I'm just gonna put the max, which is one, the one that I sent over. We're gonna click continue, approve transfer, another 10 cent fee and then we click approve transfer. And there you go, our transactions are successful. So we head back to the Venom website, we click done, and we're going to go ahead and mint an NFT. There you go, that's done. We're gonna click back to projects and we do the next one. So here we're gonna have to stake on the Venom stake testnet. We're going to connect our wallet, put whatever amount you wanna stake, click stake. And once the transaction has gone through, back to the website, we click check and we mint our NFT. There we go. Let's do the next one. This is by far the most annoying one because it's really hard to buy an NFT and you're gonna see exactly why. So what you do is you go to explore, you go to collections, pick one, but you wanna scroll way down and you wanna just load more and load more because I think everybody is clicking all the top ones. So it's near impossible to buy one and you're gonna have to do like 50 transactions before one goes through. Just scroll all the way down and pick one at random, do confirm. And I probably should have mentioned this before. If you do remember my password on that website, it should remember your password. It's just when you go to a new site, you're gonna have to put it in 50 times. So always click the remember part, especially for this site, cause you might have to try 12 NFTs before you actually get one. So I did one, let's pray it goes through. There you go, thankfully it went through. I had to try twice, but I did this earlier today on another wallet. I literally tried probably over 15 NFTs before it worked. So now that we bought one, we can go ahead and sell one. So you're gonna click my NFTs. You're gonna click the NFT. You're gonna put, put on sale, pick an amount. It doesn't let you put a crazy amount. I don't know how other people are. This one, it limits me to five. And there you go, it worked. We head back to the website. We click confirm, both of them confirm, and we mint their NFT. And there we go, we got this NFT. And remember at any time, if you need more Venom testnet, I'm at 26 right now. You just go here, they have overall achievements. They also have daily achievements sometimes where you just solve a question and you get like five or 15 Venom testnet tokens. So we go back to this page. We are going to do the next task. First, we have to follow them on Twitter. We click check. Next, we click tweet. Now I'll tell you a little secret. Don't tell Venom I told you this. You don't actually have to tweet it. So here, I'm not gonna tweet. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna do check and it just goes through. They don't have a checker. It's not like Alphabot where they actually check if you did it. And I've noticed every time I hard refresh the page, I have to re-enter my password. 
And there you go, we got another NFT. We go back to the projects page. Once again, they want us to tweet about their project. We're not going to do it. We click check. Next, we have to go to Venom Sniper. We connect our wallet and then you have to join the Venom testnet. This one sometimes takes a little bit longer to go through for the transaction. This time it was really quick. Sometimes it's really long, don't worry. We click check and once again, we mint another NFT. And it's done. We go back to the projects page. We only got four left. So we're now going to do more NFT stuff with Numi. We're going to watch, of course we watched the video. Now we're just confirming that we watched our video. Another tweet, of course we tweeted, wink, wink. And then we are going to go to Club Numi Net. You're gonna need an email that you provide them. And once you've done that, you need to connect your wallet. So I had similar issues with this website to the other NFT one where I just couldn't buy. So what I do is I go to Marketplace, you go to Collections and you just find a collection. Here, I'm gonna pick this one. But indeed on this website, you need another token, which is called Numi. So we're gonna have to go back to the swap, which is called Web3 World. I'm gonna put all the links down below and I'm gonna label them all. Like I'll call this one swap. So you'll just be able to quickly find swap. We are going to find Numi, which is right here. And it said, I believe the price of that one was five. So six Venom is gonna be enough for five Numi. We are gonna do swap, confirm, and our swap is complete. It took a couple minutes for my balance to update and show that I did have Numi. So don't worry if you get like an error message here at the beginning. So I'm just gonna click buy. I only want one, I'm gonna to agree to their terms. And there you have it, our transaction has gone through. So we head back to our quest page, we click check, and once again, we mint another NFT. And there you go, this NFT has minted. We head back to the page, we only got three left. So next we have to write a tweet, and of course we're gonna send it on this product. We click check, then we need to send out a message on chain. So first we connect our Venom account, and then we're gonna have to send out a message. So I'm just gonna write GM. A lot of people are just pretty much writing gibberish. So we do send via the Venom testnet and there you go, it went through. So we head back and we test it and we're gonna once again, mint another NFT. So it went through, we're gonna go back to our page. We only have two left. First, we have to follow them on Twitter. We follow, we do check. Next, we have to do a long or a short on Gravix. So we open the Gravix app. We're going to connect our wallet. And here you're gonna need USDT. This is why before we swapped to USDT initially, and you need a minimum of one USDT. So here, I'm just gonna put uh, max, whatever, and I'm going to degen and do 25X leverage. I believe we're going to dump. So I'm gonna do a short and I'm going to short, short. And there you go, it went through. You can see that by our position being active under here. If you ever wanna end it, just click the X, but like this is testnet, so who cares? But let's pretend I did wanna end it. You would just click the X and then you would close your short. So we go back, we do check, and we mint another NFT. There you go, we are in the home stretch. We only got one left. First of all, we follow them on Twitter. I do actually follow the Twitters because it's like the least I can do for them, you know, giving me free money, hopefully. Then we have to send a message on Come on. So we're going to do Venom. We are going to connect. And here we have to send an email. So you click compose. You're going to have to put an address. I'm going to put one in the description down below. Like I see a lot of people talking about this on Twitter, but you should try to be sending as many messages as you can just for that test net activity. I don't know if this is actually true, but you know, if you have time, you might as well try it. So if you have friends who have Venom wallets, you might as well send the messages. I'm going to put my wallet in the description down below if you want to send me messages. So you would just paste it here. Subject. Hello. Gorilla, man, I can't type. How are you? It literally doesn't, I don't think it matters what you write. And we click send and we're just gonna wait for it to go through. There you go, it is complete. So we head back over, we do check, we mint our final NFT for now. I'll show you why I'm saying for now. There you go, it is minted. So if we go back, you can see there's still one that's faded out and then there's five that say coming soon. So if you scroll down, projects undergoing maintenance. So I'm guessing this one was already open for staking your Venom. And then down here, we have six more that are coming soon. So I'm going to keep an eye on this website as they add more 
and more apps to interact with. But for the time being, that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Like this was really easy, right? You could have gone through it on your own and figured it out without needing me to make this video, as long as you know it exists, right? Having the information and knowing about this stuff is half the battle. So if you want to know about all these airdrops, definitely give me a follow on Twitter. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thanks for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace. Oh, 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 oh